Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosanna and today we're gonna be making chiles rellenos. We're gonna stuff these peppers with Oaxaca cheese. We're gonna coat them in whipped airy eggs and drench them in a delicious tomato sauce. But before we get started, if you enjoy my recipes, consider subscribing and also give us a big thumbs up. Remember to click that notification bell as well. Let's get started. Start by roasting four poblano peppers. All sides need to char, blacken, and blister nicely. Poblano peppers have a mild heat and are very popular in Mexico. We use them fresh and dried. When one side looks done, turn so that the other sides obtain the same result. When they are evenly blackened and the skin has blistered all around, remove and place in a clean bowl. Then cover with plastic wrap or foil paper. Allow them to sweat for approximately five to 10 minutes. Do not leave them in there for so long because they will get too soft. For the stuffing, I'm using Oaxaca cheese. This cheese is semi-hard and comes as a 12 ounce shaped ball, which is perfect because that's the amount we will need for this recipe. Go ahead and shred by hand. The beauty of this cheese is that it pulls apart easily. It has a string-like texture, which makes shredding a breeze. Once you're done, set aside. When time is up, uncover the bowl. You will notice the peppers did sweat and blister, which caused the outer skin to loosen. It's very important to make sure they are warm and not hot. If needed, let them cool a bit longer. Make sure that they stay uncovered to prevent them from getting too soft. Once warm to the touch, Carefully remove the skin with your fingers until clean and skin free. Be gentle with them. As you can see, the skin peels effortlessly. Make a small cut starting from the top and stop just before you reach the middle. Do not make it too big. You just need enough space to stuff the cheese. If desired, you can remove the seeds from the inside or leave them to preserve some of the heat. To remove, simply cut the seed portion off using kitchen scissors or a knife. I also cut through some of the veins attached to them. If any seeds are still left inside, you can remove them with a spoon. Make sure you only remove the seeds and not the stem. Carefully stuff each pepper with cheese. The cut we made earlier may open some more, but just try your best. The smaller the opening, the easier it will be to work with them. Now in a container, add half a cup of all-purpose flour and roll the peppers to coat them thoroughly. The flour will make the foamy eggs stick to the chiles. For the whipped airy egg coating, use five large eggs and start by separating the whites from the yolks. Ensure that no trace of yolk is mixed in the whites. This will prevent the egg whites from foaming. Add the egg whites to a mixing bowl with the whisk attachment and whip on medium high until you reach a firm peak. Be careful, do not over whip. 
And there you have it. A firm peak. Lower the speed to medium low and add the yolks one at a time, allowing them to incorporate. And as soon as everything mixes well, stop the mixer. Again, avoid over whipping. Right after whipping, take the chile and drown it into the egg. Make sure all the sides are coated. Then carefully place it over hot oil to fry. Turn as needed to achieve a golden brown color on all sides. It should take an estimate of three to four minutes on medium heat. Once all the sides are golden, remove and repeat with the rest. I'll share with you the secret ingredient that's going to take this dish to the next level. Okay, once done in the same pan and with some oil, add a corn tortilla and let it fry. Both sides will crisp up and it will release its aroma. Once crispy, set aside and allow it to cool down. Now the tomato sauce. Boil four Roma tomatoes until they are soft, juicy, and the skin starts to peel off. Approximately 20 minutes. Add the boiled tomatoes to a blender. Also add a quarter of a medium white onion three garlic cloves, one cup of water, half a teaspoon of oregano and a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, and the secret ingredient, the fried tortilla. The flavor the tortilla gives makes a huge and very noticeable difference. Cover and blend well. Strain the sauce over a pot with oil over medium-low heat. Be careful with the steam released. You can also strain the sauce first and then add all at once over the oil. Whichever works better for you is fine. Add an additional half a cup of water to the blender to get some more of the tomato sauce and strain as well. Season with salt to taste and keep in mind this will continue to cook for a few more minutes so do not over salt it. Mix and add a small bunch of cilantro for the aromatic and refreshing flavor. Lower to low heat and let it simmer for about one minute. Now add all of the peppers. Indulge and cover them in the sauce by spooning it over. Then cover to allow the cheese to melt, the peppers to soften, and the egg to infuse in all of the flavors from the tomato sauce. This is where the peppers get their flavor from, the sauce. After approximately four to five minutes, our chiles rellenos should be ready. All that's left to do is serve and enjoy. Chiles rellenos literally means stuffed peppers. There are many versions and I wanted to share with you the one I grew up seeing my mother cook. This recipe has been made in my family for years and I love that I can share it with you. 
it's so delicious and the sauce oh my god the sauce is pure joy it's aromatic and with a perfect tang the fried tortilla takes it to a whole other dimension plus it makes the sauce slightly thicker altogether this dish will make you so happy mm, so good it cannot get more comforting than this these are extremely delicious that sauce is definitely packed in flavor and they are so cheesy well i hope you enjoyed this recipe remember to come back and let me know how it went down in the comment area thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day oh do not forget you can follow me on facebook and instagram